I'm Ildiko Varga, President for Women for Trump. This organization started to support Donald Trump to be a president who will be the best president of the United States. I met him first in Mar-a-Lago, the grand opening of his private club in Palm Beach. I can be so politically correct. I've been. I go to Palm Beach. I own the great place in Palm Beach. And I sit next to ladies. Oh, Donald, it's so beautiful to have you with us. It's so beautiful. The impression was that he's powerful, confident, good, kind man. I have seen him asking the gardener how to do things. I have seen him with women uh, being the kindest, nicest person. And I talked to them, you look so lovely tonight. See, now in modern day society, you're not allowed to say that about a woman, right? You can't say that. But I've never had anybody complain. And I'm so politically correct. In fact, they leave, they say, I can't believe it, how sophisticated Donald is. I met him in 1995. I was a guest at a charity event in Boca Raton for cystic fibrosis. You know, here I thought he would be kind of a jerk, to be honest with you, but he's really not. When you talk about him respecting women, his sister's a judge. The way Donald treated his mother, yeah. phenomenal. I don't feel that he has any sort of chauvinistic attitude or outlook. If you even watch his show, The Apprentice, his right-hand person is a woman. Marshawn, we've been talking about this for I don't know how long, and I'm listening to this. I still don't understand why you did not present. Marshawn, you're fired. I think our country's at a divide, and I don't know if it's because our current president is the first African-American president, because it, it was a great accomplishment and a historic thing, and great, but it's almost turned into a negative. Thing. And I always say, well, I don't discriminate against anything but lazy. Barack Obama made friends with Castro and his brother. We have 82 missiles from Cuba pointed at Florida. All the people that we have fought so hard to stay away from, the oppression, we don't want the communism. He opens up with Cuba. I think that uh, opening up Cuba now is okay. It's been 50 years. It's a long time. I'm down in Miami. I have tremendous holdings in Miami. I deal with tremendous numbers of Cubans and Hispanics. The things he has brought to the attention of the American people, such as we do need a wall. He's the first person to bring up the points that we all should be talking about. People are listening now to what he's saying, and they are going, yeah, that's the way it should be. I'm looking forward to see what, seeing what happens in November of 2016. Hopefully Donald Trump will be our president and he can bring us to a great place. It is going to be the first time in my life that I'm going to vote and very excited to vote for somebody who can really make America great again. You're hired. <laughs>